Pioneer Pizarro. It's an autocruise Vista, really. This is my new motorhome. I've searched and searched and searched since selling the Valentine. Played around a bit. Couldn't find what I wanted. Didn't couldn't decide what I wanted. So, and I've already had a Vista. So I've gone back to a Vista. This is called a Pioneer Pizarro, but it is an Autocruise Vista, exactly the same. Few few differences inside. And it's an 03, which is on the newer Peugeot, the 2002 to 2006 Peugeot. This one doesn't have the 1.9 gearbox problems. This is a two liter. Uh, we've got a canopy on it, which is quite handy. I never had that on the other Vista, although I had it on the Valentine. So yeah, it's quite handy. But say this is an 03, so it's the, the newer cab to the the old Vista I had. A few differences is we have the water boiler on this side, and I'll show you that when we go in indoors. Uh, same garage, same massive space garage, and the front is slightly different. There's a small overhang which the my other Vista didn't have from the screen it went up straight but as you can see from this one there's a little bit of a an overhang so it gives it slightly more room indoors for your bedding and and the like uh, the gas chamber is still in the same place as is the central heating vent and uh, the electric hookup now the water used to be on this side as the water boil, the water tank, onboard water tank, used to be under the seat, but it's on the other side now. On this one, they say there's a few differences indoors. When I got it, it had a ladder on it, and it had roof bars. I've since taken the ladder off. I uh, filled the holes with silica flex and stuck these little buttons in. I've put the handle on. It makes it safer for going in and out. And this one has um, an electric step, which somebody has fitted um, aftermarket. I've not yet put a window in this one. I like to have a window in my back doors. Um, I put a window in the Vista. I put a window in the Valentine. I've yet to put a, a window in this one. And, and I've noticed that it, it should fit okay without messing up any of the decor. It should fit in there okay. It's, all, it's come with a reversing camera already on it which is something I normally put on my vehicles, but I don't have to put one on this one. So let's go indoors. Uh, we have a, as you see, we have a green um, theme going through the, through the uh, upholstery, lighter green curtains. But the upholstery is in uh, excellent condition. The vehicle's done 35,000 miles. Um, I say it's the, the 03, 02 to 06 cab. And this is an 03, so we have the newer, the newer shaped cab. The seats still turn around the same as they, they did in my other Vista. The difference is out indoors is the cooker is here in the center now. Yeah, they put a cooker in the centre, I think, because the um, under here now we have the the hot water boiler. A little bit of oh, my fingers in the way. Sorry about that. This is my iPhone, and I'm not used to filming on this. But we got the hot water boiler in the, under the cooker now, and I think they've moved the cooker because we got the wheel arch in that cupboard. So obviously the the hot water boiler wouldn't go in. Uh, in there with the wheel arch. The fridge is still the same as the Vista. It's still a small fridge. Oh, it's still got cider in it. If you watch my other videos, you'll see every fridge has got cider in. I don't know why that is. It just seems to come with it. Anyway, it's got this, a small little fridge. It's the same, the three-way fridge. So that, that's all the same. We've got the, the old spin round um, seats the same as the Vista. Uh, up here in my my earlier Vista we had um, a cupboard here and also on this side 
but with this hatch now it's slightly deeper in there than the uh, so he must have just bought the cupboard out a little bit I, I don't know we still got the same four cupboards there and I still got the same three cupboards this side and the, and the control panels in the same place this when I got the van was uh, the wine cabinet as it always is I always I've had three now I've had the Valentine the Vista and this one and I took the, the, all the wine stuff out and made it into a, a junk cupboard the wardrobe is much the same well it's exactly the same we've got the the shelving coming down the back of the wardrobe and then and then we've got the freestanding table on the on the other side and then the, you have underneath there obviously is the garage on the outside uh, which is where the, your, the your leisure battery is the bathroom is still the same as the vista we've got uh, the drop down sink we've got the thetford with the with the electric flush and then the, the, obviously the wet room shower and and the shower curtain it comes um, around to cover the door uh, we've got um, a hatch upstairs I noticed that this the shower is slightly different from my earlier the earlier vista I had this used to be over here and and the knob that you turn the tap on was used to be that side so there's a slight difference there in 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 the bathroom but the main difference is are underneath the furniture now if, if I can do this one-handed I'll show you we got the, the little latch under there here's the main difference with this Vista to my other one under here I've got my chairs my outdoor chairs and I've got my outdoor carpet but in my other Vista I had a big water boiler here the 10 litre water boiler uh, so it occupied most of the space so I've, I've been able to put my chairs in here and what I've done I've cut the timber across here and the same on the other side so this now lifts out and I can now get access to, to store my outside chairs in my carpet anything that's longer rather than you try to like fiddle it through um, the, li the little these little holes and I've also cut uh, this tin out and put it on hinges so that I got access to my gas locker uh, so I don't have to go outside if it's bad weather to uh, put the gas on so I can do it from here and I've also fitted um, one of the gauges that tell you whether you're leaking or not so you can turn the gas off and if as long as the, the arrow stays in the green if it comes down to the yellow means you've got a, a leak in the system somewhere so when you turn the gas off and it stays in the green that's that's fine so that's, that's a nice thing I like that so I've put that that um, regulator on and then as I say that's the that's a big difference here and then also let me put this back I'm doing I'm I'm doing all this one-handed holding the camera and I say I'm, I'm doing this on my iPhone and my camera's not very good and as I'm not a camera person I'm not a um what do they call them youtube vlogger i don't have all the youtube cameras and microphones anyway i'm just just stripping this 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 back bed down because i want to show you in here now in in the vista here was a, a water tank it filled this this area Here's my central heating unit, that's still the same. I've got storage the other side of it. And I've got storage here now. I've got my silver silver screen curtains are in here. But this was a boy this was a tank, a water tank. So there's loads and loads more storage. 
because the water tank, let's put this back, the water tank is here now on the floor. There he is. You can see him. I just undo the carpet. Here's the water tank. There you go. That's the, where the water tank's now. The, the waste tank is still in the same place at the back of the van, but the water tank's now. So now this would not be very good for winter. In the other Vista, I actually left the water in and used the van in the winter because the water was indoors and there was just one water pipe going under the van from this side where the water tank was it went under the van to feed the kitchen sink so I insulated that extra it was already insulated but I insulated it extra so I was able to use water through the winter that being outside might be a problem so anyway we'll see what happens when the winter comes because as I say I've just bought this van I've just had it three weeks ish I got it I'm in Cheshire I live in Cheshire I got it from Southampton there's a dealer down in Southampton so I went down on the train looked at it and fetched it home uh, this is the sliding one this one doesn't go up in the air like with the with the big bar this just lifts and slides forward so that's different to me other one but all in all it's still it's a lovely van drives nice 35,000 miles good MOT history you know when you go on the internet and read the MOT history it's all good stuff so the, the few changes the differences that this one has to what I'm used to well not what I'm used to because I've had a few now so I'm, the first one I've sort of kind of like gone out of my head a little bit but I'm remembering it now that I'm in this one they say we got the water boiler there the cooker not not there I would have liked it if that sink had been the other way if it had been turned around so is it when you stand here and do the dishes Janny can take them and wipe them what we do it, well, what we've done a few times that we've had a mill in here, we've put the cooker top down and then I put the dishes onto there and then she can then wipe them and store them while we... But there was, I think the reason it's this way around is there there is a cover that goes, it folds, you know, this goes this goes out of the way. The cover folds over, then, it's, then, and then it stands up I've taken the bracket off. I've taken the cover off. We've got the little screw holes here. It's still here in the van, ready for put back on when I get rid of the van. But I like the openness. I don't like them covers. And I, I mean, this has got a glass top, which is fine. But if anything falls out the cupboard, you know, you break your glass top. So, and it's got the chrome stand-ups, which I don't use. And that's not normally there when I'm cooking. There's no danger when you're cooking. And I always crack a window when I'm cooking, no matter which fan I'm in. It's sometime or another, it's had a light change, a cheapo. Uh, it should be one of these. And uh, the one in the bathroom is, is, still, is still the original type. So somebody's put a cheapo light in it, which I will get round to replacing. I'm quite happy with this fan, quite happy with the decor, quite happy with certainly the condition of her, she's beautiful and there's a good good MOT history with her. So that's my new van, I started adding some of my me, me little gizmos that I collect from around the country as I'm travelling around. This was down Cornwall, this, this tree, um, this, this, this last summer. And I got a, cor got a Cornish Pixie, but give me that one. I was shocked when I was in a shop. He said, oh yeah, here's a Cornish Pixie for you. He said, and we got the Kingfisher. But uh, yeah, it's, um, I, it makes it a little bit personal. Anyway, that's my new, my new van. Cheers now. <laughs>